Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between David Prezepiorka and Ladislav Prokesh that was played in Budapest in 1929. And where is Budapest? Do you know where Budapest is? Budapest is the capital city of Hungary. In this game, David Prezepiorka had white pieces and he played d4, knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, and white played e3, blocking the bishop on c1. But this opening is called call system, and that is okay move. d5, bishop to d3, c5 and perhaps threatening c4 and white usually plays b3 or c3 in our game we have c3 knight from b to d7 good alternative is knight to c6 pressuring pawn on d4 in our game we have knight from b to d7 knight from b to d2 bishop to d6, white castled kingside, and black castled kingside. Have a good look at this position. Is that symmetrical or not? If pawn which is now on c5 is on c6, we would have symmetrical position. Rook to e1, preparing e4, queen to c7, e4, c takes on d4, c takes on d4, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, and it is black to move, and black played b6. Black wants to develop his light squared bishop. b6 may not be the best move. Let's go back. Knight takes knight on e4 should have been considered. And after bishop takes knight to f6. Okay, let's go back to our game. In our game we have b6. Bishop to g5. And now black decided to capture the knight on e4. Rook takes knight. Bishop to b7, attacking the rook on e4. Instead of moving the rook immediately, plan is to play rook to h4. In between move, rook to c1, attacking the queen. Queen to b8. And now rook to h4. Threat is bishop takes on h7. And black played g6. Let's take it back. Is h6 better? What do you think? What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Ready? The best move is to take on h6 and after pawn takes Rook to g4 check, king to h8, queen to d2, and there is no defense against queen takes pawn on h6. Well, black can try this, but white will be winning. So now again we have g6. Now black is problem on dark squares around his king. He actually wished that he had bishop, which is now on d6, on g7. How to take advantage of these dark square problems around black king? Well, knight on d7 should be eliminated. And this is the step. Bishop attacking the knight. Queen to e8. But now knight is pinned. 
Knight to e5. Pressure is on the knight. Can bishop take knight? What do you think? If bishop takes knight, then pawn takes bishop. And how to defend now knight on d7? With rook. And then this is one of the possible moves. Takes. Queen takes. Queen takes on d7. Okay. This is winning for white, isn't it? Okay, so in the game we have bishop to c8, defending the knight. Hmm, what now? How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Would you play this? Removing the defender of knight on d7. And black has a choice. Rook takes rook or queen takes rook. Queen takes on c8 was played in the game. Bishop takes on d7 attacking the queen. Queen to c7. And now a little trap. Knight to g4. What is the trap? If queen takes bishop, then knight to f6. Check, forking king and queen. h5 was played. Knight to f6, check. King to g7. What would you do now if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Ready? What did you find? Would you play this? Knight takes on h5. Black recaptured it pawn. Queen takes on h5 and threat is checkmate on h7. Rook to h8 attacking the queen. What now? Your move. In this position, white played the move and black resigned. What is the move? Bishop to h6 and black resigned in view of king to g8. Queen to g4 check. And after king to h7. Queen to g7. Checkmate. What else can black do? He can play king to h7. But then queen takes pawn on f7. Is check mate. That was a very beautiful game from such a modest opening, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.